Alright, so hello everyone, this is the Limitation back again, and today we are going to be continuing to our basic tutorials before any recreation. Um, for today's one, we are going to be learning about embeds. Embeds are very useful, embeds are very popular, and I'm just going to give you guys a very basic understanding of embeds. Um, if you want to learn more ad advanced stuff, like if you want to learn everything, I will put a link in the description below and which will re redirect you to the discord.py doc and you can learn more about embed the, cla the embed class more. But before this, I just want to show you guys the beginning stuff that we you will need in your normal codes. We will learn more about embeds while making more commands. But anyway, let's just start client.command async def embed let's just name it embed ctx now we are going to do e you can give m you can give embed like it's all your wish we are going to go do a so um discord now we have to um open and now we have to use a class from the discord module which is called embed and since it's a class, so it's a parenthesis. Now there are a lot of parameters to give inside this class. First of all, the title. I'm just going to give title. You can also give description and say description. And then you can also give URL. Basically, the URL does is that it changes your title into a into a clickable link. So with this URL, you can just put HTTPS and then discord.com. And then after we have done this URL, we our title is going to turn into a link which will redirect us to discord.com. Then we have a very important one for de designing its color. Um, for color, you have to go again in discord and then color. It's another class and then you can if you don't want to give any your own color, you can just press it and then select from a lot of um, default colors that this that Discord.py already gives you. But um, I don't want I I want to do my one. So what you have to do is put zero x and then put any hex code. If you don't know what hex code is, just think of it as a representation of any color, such as if you do ff ff ff. It's basically black, I guess. And then zero 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 zero. It's basically white. Um, I don't want to go too much in depth in hex codes, but if you, but just to just for basic understanding, the first two digits are for the red channel. You know the RGB. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing here. Um, this is R red. Then more is green, and then. Um, and then this is blue rgb and also in hex code it's basically base 16 so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f that's it so this is your random color another one that you can give is timestamp in order to actually get a timestamp we have to import another module which is import date time let's go back okay so this is going to be date time dot date time dot utc now so it's basically just universal time zone then what you have to do is is to work with the methods of this embed class there are a lot of methods the most useful one is the add field basically add field is just adding fields that's it it com it's composed with three steps, which is name, value, and inline. You can see it upwards. So the name is very important because without name, you can't give value. And without value, you can't give name. So both of these are very important for any fields. For the field name, we can just give field one. For the value name, we can just give value. And then there's another one, which is called inline. In Discord embeds, the, the maximum fields that you can add in in line is three but if you seem to not really like that stuff and you just want to break the line what you have to what you have is in line you can normal in default the in line is given true but if you want to break the line so just give false but i really don't 
but it's really you. it's your wish i'm just gonna keep calls i like to keep it i don't really like to keep too many um value too many fields in line then we have set author the set author is not really used too many too much in nowadays discord embed but it can be useful when you're designing your embed you can you can have name basically the author the url is just like the previous title url you can change it to it just turns your name into a url let's just do another http discord Com. then we have icon url icon url is just to keep icon beside your set author line um icon url uh, you can give your bots url bots avatar or your own avatar if you want to give your avatar it's basically ctx.author basically the author of the context is command um then avatar url and that's it it's just going to turn your url to that one if you want to give the bots url then you have to do client and then bot and then user and then you have to do avatar dot avatar url and then you get the bots url for it i'm just going to give the bots url for this time then we have a set thumbnail this is very popular for this one it's just one it just has one parameter which is the url for this one we have to put any image url so let me so let me just look for an image all right so i found this url then there is the more then there is one of the most important one which is the set footer um the set footer is mostly used for requested by stuff so you can just give re requested by and then any can you can give let's turn, turn it into an f string and then ctx author sorry author dot name sometimes they want to give the id which is basically the discriminator then you can give hashtag and then another one ctx author dot discriminator now you will get your id and just like other commands you can also give the icon again for this one you can give the icon of the author since yes it is the author mm, avatar url then there's another one which is called image sorry a set image it's also with it also comes with one parameter only which is any image you want so we are going to give again the previous image that we gave in thumbnail and yeah to be honest this is the most basic these are the basic stuffs that you will get in embeds we will work we will work with most of this another thing that i want to teach you guys is basically called hyperlink hyperlinks are basic um small are blue links are little little links that are in M that are present in embed and are blue in color and it basically redirects you to an, any other website so i want this remember the text is square brackets and the link that will redirect you to is circular brackets and we will end our command with await.ct await ctx.send embed sorry embed equals to e the e is basically the variable and embed is a parameter if you don't give this parameter then you will have a very weird number sent in discord and you don't want it so this so this parameter is important to give when you're sending an embed let's try it and we have everything we have the author with a link and we have the title with a link the description normal a field and then a value which is a hyperlink then we have the image of the requested by and then you have the timestamp and then you have the timestamp is because we have given the timestamp in title then we gave the the author the reason why it's not loading is because my wi-fi speed is very less that is it for today's video 
I hope you learned something new and next week we are going to be creating a very special command and let me just give you a sneak peek it's the yak pdps would you rather command yes we are going to be recreating this command anyway thanks a lot for watching this video and goodbye